Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm still a girl test with a Y. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And of course, my old returning subscribers, I'm grateful and it's happy to see you here again. We are subscribed to this channel. Please do well to hit the subscription button and join the family. Today, I will be discussing a topic that I feel like. Um, has been hitting hard on me and yes so today i was just pushed to make this video on it and the topic today is on loss how do we deal with loss and um shimamanda once said in her post how does a heart break twice how does a heart break twice how does one deal with loss the loss of a loved one a friend a family member a sibling an uncle particularly someone that is close to you a husband uh, it's not easy to lose anybody it's not it's it leaves you with a lot of things and one thing loss does is it shakes your faith it checks your faith in God so much that you feel like he does not exist. One other thing loss does uh, either brings the loss either brings family together or it tears them apart. And I've seen cases where loss tears the family apart. It creates division and um, the pain just creates a big drift and then tend to be like massive misunderstanding and blame here and there instead of coming together to deal with it as a unit coming together to deal with it as a unit only takes the grace of god allowing god to heal you so it can it only takes the grace of god to hold uh, for a family that have lost a son a daughter a husband, a mother. So it takes the grace of God to keep them together in unity. But most especially when families and uh, people are going through loss and they are overwhelmed with overflow of emotions, they are overwhelmed with loss, they, they sink down, sink so much deep into pain. It's true to remember that it's okay to cry it out it's okay to let out that emotion don't bottle it up i find out that it's, it's detrimental to your em emotional mental physical health it affects everything around you but your finance your relationships your your spiritual life if you let that get a hold of you as humans very much so it's okay to cry whether you're a man or a woman it's very much okay to cry to not bottle this feeling of loss um trying to be strong regardless of trying to be strong for everybody else remember that it's you first you have you owe it to yourself to live for those that are gone to the ones that have gone before us we owe it to them to live to let go Having experienced loss and different shades, I would say um, it's it's okay to live through it. You will come out of the other side. It's not immediately. It's gonna be one step at a time. But you need to cry it out express it do not let it take a hold of you 
and do not let anybody tell you how to mourn. Mourn the way you want to mourn. But remember to leave. Remember to remember the memories that you have and you shared with these people while they were on earth. Remember that they will want you to live. They will want you to be strong, not just for yourself, but to be strong for others. They will want you to be strong and realize, live and realize your dreams. They will want you to show to yourself that yes, this got to you but you carry them forever in your heart. And they are always a constant factor in your life. That their spirit washes over you. That they are in a very good place. That they are with their maker. That they are loved where they are. And they are loved. The love you have for them is still inside of you. And you are carrying it with you forever till your dying days. And it's really also important to realize God's words when you mourn. It says, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. At that point, you feel like you can't be comforted. Nobody can hold you. Nobody should tell you how to mourn. Let you mourn your mourn. Mourn your mourn. But hold on to the fact that there is a comforter that God will send down his spirit to comfort you that it doesn't it's not fair how they've gone or why they left the way they did or circumstances that surrounded their departure but it's good that to know that they're in a better place they're with the maker and through this time of pain and hearts and tears That the spirit of the living God will be there for you and is there for you. It says, the Lord will wrap his arm of love and comfort around those who trust in him. Loss checks our faith as Christians and as believers. It makes us question everything. Why would this happen to us? Why me? Why us? What did we do wrong? Do we deserve this? Why is it consecutively? Why, why do we have to experience this? Why do we have to start every year in tears? Last year, I started last year in tears. This year, January, it's tears all over again. Now, having the belief that he promised, he did not promise that I will not have challenges, but he said he would deliver me from each and every one of them even if that's unto death. Even if that is unto death, it's a promise that I hold on to. That as much as the circumstances revolving a departure of a loved one, it's not fair. But my trust and your trust should be in God. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up the wound in Psalm 147 verse 3. He heals brokenhearted and binds up their wound. He's a constant help in time of need. However, it's pain in it's it's hot. I if you have ever had an open wound and then someone puts a salt on it, that's how it hurts. And when you've lost someone, and in the duration of a year you lose a member of a family, what a distance or close you start asking yourself how do you get through this how do you survive this how does a heart break twice would you live past this would the nightmares leave you would you stop calling their name in the middle of the night will you ever see their picture and the tears will not Roll over. Would you have memories of them and smile? Or in all this, God will bind you up. He will build you up. 
you will rise again. It says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I'll be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will be, bring you back from captivity. It's, it's made all of a sudden so surreal, and then you'll be like, this is the last thing you will want to hear as someone who's bereaved. It's always the last thing. I can remember I'm at my brother's gravesite, and my immediate elder sister was telling me, no, go, Cassiope. And she was uh, um, saying, like, take heart, take heart. You know, I I've, was strong all through the duration before the burial. I was, you know, the Margaret Tasha. I was Margaret Tasha and everybody trying to make, trying to, you know, oh, make sure everything is in place and all that. I was just Margaret Tasha and everybody. And I was holding up my emotions. During his lying in states, I could, it was also surreal, like it's a dream. Like he's gonna wake up and come out of that place. Like it's not, you know, you know, it's, it wasn't, it just was like a dream. Before the lying in state though, when I went to the mortuary, it became a bit real. Like that's my brother. That's my only brother there. You know, and during the lying in state, I was like, nah, this can't be him. He's gonna get up and be like, ah, dogs. Be like, dogs, prank, it's a prank. But none of it happened. It all became so real when he was put to Mother Earth. And that was when I couldn't hold it. So at that point, even if someone is telling you to take heart, take heart, it doesn't make any sense. You know, why would you take heart? Like, why? Like, leave me. Are you a parent who buried a loved one? Who buried a son? Who buried a child? Buried a daughter? I know telling you to trust in God is the last thing you would want to hear. Trust in God. Your sister, your brother, your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your uncle, your in-law. They are in the afterlife. They are in a good place. Their spirit constantly is with you. And the Supreme God is washing over you. He is there with you. He will bring you out of this. So stay strong. You stay strong. Stay strong for yourself. Stay strong for the children that you have or that you still have. Stay strong for your sisters. Stay strong most especially for yourself. Believe in the healing power of God. Let him heal you. Open up your heart to him. Let him see your vulnerability. Go to him as naked as you can be. Open up. Let him see through you. Let him mend you up. Let him heal you. Let him heal your family. It may not happen immediately like a puff of wind, but it takes time. If anything, ask God for a hug. Ask him for a hug. He will come through. He always comes through. He will hug you and when he does hug you, you would feel it. You will know that you have a God that sees you. So I don't know who this message today was for, but I hope you know that you're not alone in your loss and you can get through it and you can always reach out and join part of this community. But is always there for you don't ever forget that don't ever forget that so i hope it inspires you and i hope it encourages you and i hope it's it's okay to mourn it's okay to cry but get up after it and then you know that god is always there with you i know that you are not the only one who goes through this and 
you will get through it as well. So that brings me to the end. <laughs> if you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me. It helps push this video out there to people. And it helps reach it, reach someone who truly, truly needs this needs to see this and it helps me grow in this fast youtube world please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below please hit the subscribe button down below our target is to increase this family to increase this wonderful family here and i will see you all in my next video ciao